So hello everyone. Today we have Vishwajit staying with us for mock interview. So hello Vishwajit. Hello ma'am. How are you? No, I'm really really fine. How are you? I'm also good. So can you please introduce yourself? Yes ma'am. Ma'am, my name is Vishwajit Vikram Singh Kerala. I was born and brought up in Haldwani, Teer Bhumi, Uttarakhand. As far as my education is concerned, I have completed my matriculation from Birla Vidya Mandir Nainital with an aggregate of 80% in the year 2021 and my 10 plus 2 in APS Haldwani with an aggregate of 82% in the year 2023. My IMU CET overall rank was 2505. Uh, talking about my family background, I am son of Binita Kerala and Gobind Singh Kerala. My mother is a teacher and my father is a businessman and I also have an elder brother. Apart from this, I spend my leisure time listening to music, cooking food for the family during mostly during the lunch time, and uh, helping my parents regarding their indoor outdoor work. And my goal in my and the goal in my life is to become a really good mercenary captain in one of the prestigious companies. That's all about me. Okay, so which as you are from Uttarakhand, so can you please tell me something about Uttarakhand? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, Uttarakhand uh, Uttarakhand was declared as a state when. 9th of November in the year 2000. Uttarakhand is vividly famous for its religious sites, mostly famous for the Char Dham Yatra, which includes Kedarnath, Badrinath, Yamyotri, and Gangotri. In Uttarakhand, the highest Shiva temple, the Tumbanath temple, is also situated, and the highest Gurdwara, the Hemkund Sahib, is also situated in Uttarakhand. The India's highest uh, dam, the Tehri Dam, is also in Uttarakhand. And uh, the oldest national park, the Jim Corbett National Park in the district of Nainital, is also situated in Uttarakhand. These are some of the uh, points regarding Uttarakhand. Okay, which will be great. So, can you please tell me some some of your strengths? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, first of all, ma'am, I would say I'm a workaholic person. I like to do work. Uh, I usually help my parents regarding their outdoor or indoor work. I help my father regarding his gardening work and my mother at at the kitchen. Uh, secondly, I'm a, a I don't get homesick so easily because I was in boarding school for two years and so I guess I have inculcated that ability inside of me from over there only. And uh, I don't create excuses while I'm given a task. Okay, great. So, Vishwaji, can you please share your weakness with me? Uh, sure, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I won't say that I'm weak or null in any of the subject or topic, but uh, still I would say that uh, I don't emotionally get connected to the task that I'm given. I simply take it as a job, and uh, but much in a way, it's like the is like upcoming 40 years of my life. So I have to get emotionally connected to the workload I, that I'm gonna be given, and uh, and uh, I guess that's the thing I lack behind in. But uh, now I guess I'm in a better stage than I was in before because I have worked on it very well. Okay, so what are you doing to overcome from it? Uh, yes, ma'am, to overcome uh, this weakness, I simply, uh, I simply just consider that yes, this is the, uh, f uh, this is the task, that, the task that I'm given, and this is my life. So I have to be happy uh, doing my task, and that's how, that's how I am overcoming it. Okay, so from where you came to know about Marshani? Uh, yes, ma'am, ma'am, to answer this question, I would like to throw some light in the past two years. When I was in my 10th grade, then I, when I recently cleared the, my 10th grade, my father told me that Merchant Navy is a really good career to pursue for. And uh, from there only, I got to know about Merchant Navy. And then I searched more and more about it. And I was really, really fascinated about this career. Okay. So what is Merchant Navy according to you? Uh, Ma'am, Merchant Navy uh, mainly deals with the transportation and trade around, uh, around the countries and continents. Uh, it has many fleets of passenger vehicles and uh, cargo ships too. And Merchant Navy is also the backbone of the international trade around the world. Okay. So why do you want to join? Ma'am, the main reason why I wanted to join Merchant Navy is because I like the work culture of Merchant Navy a lot. Uh, no third person could disturb us while we are on board doing our task, uh, except our, of course, except our colleagues and our juniors and seniors. That's the thing I really, really like about Merchant Navy. And also we get a very decent time to spend with our family, uh, with a really, really good uh, salary too. And that's, these are the things that fascinated me more about Merchant Navy and to join, to join it. Okay, but why specifically deck side over engine side? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, 
I would say that I don't have a really good interest towards technical things or I ever wanted to become an engineer. Although I know that if I worked hard on that field too, I would even become a really good uh, engineer, but I'm choosing best over good. Okay, so can you please tell me the second law of Kepler's planetary motion? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, Kepler's second law, also known as law of area, states that the uh, the planets revolving around the sun in an elliptical path uh, sweeps equal amount of area in equal interval of time. Okay. And what is the second law of thermodynamics? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, the second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy uh, the entropy in the universe can never be negative or we can simply say that heat would never transfer from a colder region to a hotter region. What is entropy according to you? Ma'am, uh, entropy is the measurement of disorderness of any particle. For example, solid are more ordered as compared to gases. So entropy of solid is much lesser than gases. Okay. And why the skies appear blue? Ma'am, uh, the sky appears blue because of Rayleigh scattering. What actually happens is when white light enters the Earth's atmosphere, it splits into its seven constant colors. And out of those seven, blue, indigo, and uh, violet are the colors which are scattered the most around by the particles present in the atmosphere and the combination of these three colors gives the sky its blue appearance. Okay, so how does the ship float? Ma'am, the ship floats by Archimedes principle. What is it? Ma'am, Archimedes principle states that when a body is partially or fully immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upthrust force known as buoyant force, which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. Okay. What is the capital of Norway? Sorry, ma'am. What is the capital of Norway? Ma'am, the capital of Norway is Oslo. Okay. And what about Colombia? Ma'am, uh, the capital of Colombia is Bogota. Okay. And uh, what is the currency of Bangladesh? Ma'am, the currency of Bangladesh is uh, Taka. Okay. And what about Japan? Ma'am, Yen. So can you please tell me the sea route from Mumbai port to port of Plaxito? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, first of all, we will start from entering the uh, Arabian Sea. After entering the Arabian Sea, we would reach the Gulf of Aden. After crossing the Gulf of Aden, we would reach the Bab, uh, Bab al Mandeb Strait, which is, which, is, which is between Djibouti and Yemen. After crossing it, we would enter the Red Sea. After uh, crossing the Red Sea, we would enter the Swiss Canal and uh, exit the Swiss Canal from Port Set and enter the Mediterranean Sea. And by sailing towards the west, we would reach the Gibraltar Strait. After crossing the Gibraltar Strait, we would reach the North, North Atlantic Ocean. And uh, by sailing towards the north, we would enter the English Channel. And after crossing the Dover Strait, we would reach our destiny. Okay, Mr. that's all. So can you please uh, share your experience with us of IMM? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I won't say that it was a good experience, but I would say it was really, really good. Uh, good because uh, when uh, when I failed in the August batch because I realized that I didn't knew so much of detail in about Merchant Navy and about the DNS and BSc course. So uh, then I saw, uh, then I got to know about INU Mate, and where I got to, to know all the details regarding what are the questions we are going to be asked in the interview and the test that. Uh, we are going to be facing during the DNS, and uh, that's uh, that was really really helpful for me. Okay, okay, Vishwasi, thanks for your time. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.